Howdy, and welcome to Book Your Give Here. We're Travel That Gives. I'm Lulu Lima, your chief travel guru. I hope this episode of Dream Now, Travel Later inspires you to travel, and I invite you to give us the opportunity to help plan your next memorable trip. So grab your popcorn and enjoy. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. As always, we're always talking about some amazing travel, and I promise not to let you down. Susan is here with me from the um, Chamber of and of Tourism for Sedona. So Arizona is truly a beautiful place on Earth, and they like to call themselves the most beautiful place. So we're going to say yay. That totally is. Um, so Susan comes to us, and she's going to give us a little bit of all the love and everything else. Her eyes are very touristic-y, so we like that kind of feel because she's showing us the different side of what it is to be a local there. And so she's local without being local. Um, so it's a wonderful feeling. So Susan, um, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And it is truly a beautiful place on earth. So whether you've been there once or you've never been there, um, it sort of gets in your blood and you want to continue to go back. So. Yeah, absolutely. So first, before we start um, with the presentation, I'm going to go over to a, a nice video um, to showcase what is Sedona. You are so beautiful. So, um... so as you can see, all of the beautiful like things you. here, um, so again, it's, it's just an awesome adventure with all the golf. And you guys have so much golf in the area. And I think that's something that definitely needs to be highlighted. Um, the beautiful mountains and the sky is gorgeous. It's a great family location as well. This is love, this is life. Climbing on your rocks and stones. And I love how this is truly like an outdoor science class for the kids, for the adults. And no matter what the season, there's plenty to do and plenty to have fun with. Weddings are awesome. As are proposals and honeymoons. This is peace, this is love, this is What can't you not do in beautiful this Sedona? Is peace, this is love, it's got this everything. Is this is peace, this is love. This is life. So with that, this was an amazing video. I'm super excited that we got a chance to um, to show that off. So Let's talk about um, your presentation, and and let's um, and so let let's highlight all of these beautiful things. So talk to us. I mean, you have yeah. the video, and so it's it's the, the flight is all yours now at this point. Take okay, it away. Great. So as you saw in the video, um, Sedona really has you know pretty much all kinds of outdoor activities. Um, and the nice thing about Sedona, we are um, kind of centrally located in Arizona, so it really is a year-round destination um, for outdoor adventure, wellness, spa, health, um, you name it. Um, whether it's a couple or family traveling, we pretty much have it all. Um, we're located about two hours north of Phoenix um, by car. You can also fly into uh, Flagstaff and you're about a 45 minute drive and then for those that might be coming in from Vegas, you're about a four hour, four hour drive from Vegas and it's a really pretty scenic, scenic drive. So really easy to get to from, you know, three, three varied airports um, in the Southwest. Um, and, and the Grand Canyon is really not that far away. No, Grand Canyon's about two hours, two and a half hours, depending on time of day and um, not that far at all. So yeah. It's it's a, be it's a beautiful thing. And one of the things that I love about um, your area is, is that it truly is an all year round destination. Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, we do get snow in the winter, a little bit of snow, but it's kind of like um, powdered sugar on red rocks. 
Um, and it usually doesn't stick. Um, it does rain and um, we certainly have four seasons. That's a, there's a great picture of um, how it looks with the snow. Um, summertime is not as hot as Phoenix. Um, we're usually about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than the Phoenix area. Um, so it's our, pretty much like Austin then. Um, yeah. I because Austin will reach maybe, you know, we'll get have the low, the low hundreds in the summer. Yeah, yeah we're, we can, we can hit a hundred. Um, it's kind of rare to be a, a hundred, but you know, 95 is not, um, not unusual in the summer. So you get out early, you do your hiking and biking, and then you, um, you know, sit back in the hotter parts of the day and have a nice glass of wine on the, on the patio at one of the nice resorts. So, and that's super awesome. So let's talk about um, Sedona's, you know, all the different seasons. Summer, obviously, being one of them, um, is a lower season. And there's so many beautiful things that are shown in the sky. And this is all Mother Nature. Yeah. Yeah, it really does have a um, really stunning um, landscape for, you know, sunrises, sunsets. Um, we don't have... Um, light pollution so at night you can really see the stars and if you're coming from a bigger city and not used to seeing the stars it's kind of shocking to go out at night and look up and you kind of forget that they exist or you come from a really polluted area and you look up and you see the stars it's really um, really stunning the monsoons are beautiful to watch um, when they come in big puffy clouds and lightning and you know dramatic rainbows so it really um, you know, every season is has its unique um, feel and flair, and the skies are stunning, always. Oh, and that's awesome. And so, you know, we talked about the mild winters, and the mild winters really give us an opportunity here um, to, to, to experience that crisper air, um, but be still being able to go outside and enjoy. Um, and that's one yeah. of the things that I absolutely love about the area. Yeah. Pretty much um, our winter, which you know was a, a very mild winter. You know, you start out in the morning with a jacket, um, maybe gloves, depending on how thin your blood is. And you know, by noon, by noon, maybe you know you're in a long sleeve t-shirt. And then again in the evening, it it cools down. But a lot of the resorts and properties and many of the restaurants have these amazing, you know, outdoor fire pits or heat lamps. Um, so there's a lot of it. Really is you know, a very, very mild winter compared to, you know, say somebody from the East Coast. Yes. Um, so truly a, a year round destination. And, and, um, and that's super awesome. So we're looking at a map right now that kind of highlights how easy it is to, to really be in all parts of Sedona and, and have amazing experiences. Yeah, so Sedona is kind of spread out um, in three, three main areas. Um, if you can see on the map, we have West Sedona, and then we have um, Uptown. Um, then we have kind of the Gallery uh, Gallery Row area, and then the Village of Oak Creek. And all of this is, is really the greater Sedona area. Um, Sedona only has, um, believe it or not, year-round just over 10,000 residents, but we serve over 4 million visitors a year. You guys have um, hospitality all wrapped up. We do, we do. And that kind of brings you up into the, you know, all the amazing opportunities. There's lodging for everybody. So whatever kind of accommodation you're looking for, you're definitely gonna find it in Sedona. Yeah, there's really, um, you know, very unique uh, resorts in, in West Sedona, um, Uptown. Um, we've got a couple different properties that are actually located on the creek, which is stunning. Oh. Um, you know, we've got smaller properties, um, boutique, boutique properties, and we have larger properties that, um, you know, in a non-COVID year, um, Sedona is a great meetings, um, meetings and events and wedding and family reunion destinations. So we've got all kinds of properties to fit every every need and budget. And that's awesome. Um, and we also have a lot of dining because you've got over. 50 restaurants and you have and one of the things that i love is, is that you have celebrity chefs we do we do um one one of them who's probably i think the most famous in sedona right now is lisa Dahl. 
Um, the picture you see in the top is taken from her, um, one of her newest luxury venues, which is called Mariposa, which means the butterfly. And um, you can see the sunset view in the background there. Um, she's got a couple different pizza shops and a lovely Italian venue in um, the village of Oak Creek. Um, very organic, very natural. She's been written up in all kinds of magazines and been on cooking shows. And um, yeah, we, we pretty much have every type of um, dining venue and again, for every budget, so. And, and that's super awesome because you really can cater to that. And and when you're talking about budget, you know, you also want to talk about your, what can you shop and what can you do? Well, you not only have, you know, the name brand, but you also have a lot of local artists. Yeah, we do. Um, it's really the, the artwork and the craftsmanship in so many of the shops in Sedona are really unique, kind of one of a kind. Um, experiences that people, you know, you can go and have a piece of jewelry made with, you know, local stones, turquoise, and, um, you know, handcrafted fabric goods and beaded work. And um, there's, you know, over 20 galleries and over 80 shops. Um, you can even take art classes um, and, you know, pottery. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, just depending on how, how much time you want to spend shopping. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand. And that's awesome. And so before we go into the classes, because we'll touch upon that in a little bit, we really also um, want to emphasize there are activities for not for all ages and all physical abilities. Um, yep. So it so it really is a place that everybody can truly enjoy um, and really get into that whole um, sphere of things of just enjoying the mountains um, and the beautiful cacti and and everything else that surrounds yeah and and these are just a couple different um opportunities here that we've showcased here the off-roading adventures um a couple different jeep tour companies in the in the sedona area you can do trolley tours you can do horseback riding um you know you can do atving and get off-road um as and we continue on to air tours um just amazing helicopter experiences hot air ballooning not all year round but most of the year um the hot air ballooning takes place and you can um, also again, take helicopters to the grand canyon so you really can yep. have that bird's eye view yeah and it's stunning i've done it and it's yep. it's really um outstanding yeah you, it's everybody's definitely got to do this and one of the things that um, Sedona has is a whole trail system. So here is an opportunity to to see the trails, you know, actually do them. If you're really into that hiking and biking and, and things like that, you really have the opportunity um, to, uh, to just go and be one with nature. And renting a bike is so easy there. All you got to do is ask me when I build your itinerary and we make it happen. So, um, so really a great opportunity. Now, there are two amazing state parks that we're highlighting here, but one of them is just something that I think everybody should do, which is the natural water slide. Can you talk us a little bit about the Slide Rock sure. State Park? So you saw that a little bit in the video with the family. Yep. Um, and, and especially, um, you know, this past summer, um, you know, it's, it's just been packed with people coming and the, because of the, the way the water comes in, it obviously smooths the rocks. And so it really is kind of like a slide. Um, it's a fun place to, you know, go and have a picnic or, or you can ride to or hike to. Um, again, very family friendly. There's places that are um, a little bit more flat and, and not rugged. So again, people that might have a little bit more mobility issues can still enjoy the park. Um, but it's a it's a big it's a big attraction, especially in the summertime. Yep, and of course, Red Rocks um, State Park is also awesome, and and it's got a lot of wellness, a lot of that Zen. It gives you kind of that Japanese feel um, when you're in those in the bamboo um, areas um, in Japan, and so it, I feel like the Red Rock kind of gives you that same Zen. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more with um, health and wellness, but that is a big um, component of Sedona that's very special. Yes, absolutely. Um, and so here are some pictures. We talked about this earlier. For those of you guys who are very much into um, coming from the cities, 
um, you know, New York City or uh, even here in Austin or in Atlanta, where you do have that uh, pollution of light at night. Well, now here's an opportunity where you can actually see Mother Nature. And this is all of what she has to offer um, because there is no air pollution um, or light pollution. And, and so and we do work with several companies that um, actually will take small groups or families out um, so that you can experience this in a really unique and special way. Um, and it's, you know, it's a great tour that anyone can book. And, and really the, the skies that you're seeing is what it looks like. That's, so and that's so awesome. very, very special, very unique. Yeah. So now we're going to go back to um, the art and culture. And, and, and really, we talked about earlier where you can actually go and take some painting classes um, in some of the studios um, and in the workshops. So if, you, if this is something that you'd like to do, we can easily um, add this to your itinerary as we plan your day um, in Sedona. So, um, but this is a great opportunity for cultural immersion. Get to know, get yeah. to know another American through art. And it's, it's a great thing to do if you have girlfriend trips or, you know, a bridal shower trip and the girls want to get together or, you know, multi-generational um, small groups. Um, those are great, great classes and great studio options for those smaller um, social distancing um, activities as well. So you can do that. You can do that easily. And also for those of you guys who are homeschooling. So... Yep. You can do an art class and then a little bit later you can do a history class because you've got so many Native American um, heritage sites. So yeah. you can literally cover a number of different classes in real life. You don't need to worry about the digital learning piece of things because you're living it. Yeah. Yeah, and um, sometimes nature is the best classroom. So Agreed. Sedona, Sedona, Sedona certainly offers all of that um, for young kids and older kids. Exactly. Um, and at the end of the day, we're all kids at heart, right? <laughs> you know, and you can always learn something every day. You can learn something. Absolutely. So um, Sedona has a lot of different vortex sites. Would you um, care to comment on some of these so we can learn a little bit more? Sure. Sure. So um, there's a very um, holistic, spiritual wellness aspect to Sedona um, that, you know, has been there for years and has only been developed more and more by some of the companies that are in Sedona. Um, and a lot of people really, I mean, international travelers and domestic travelers as well come to experience these vortexes. Um, these are probably four of the main ones that are noted, Cathedral Rock, Airport Mesa, Boynton Canyon and Bell Rock. Um, and really the vortex area is a place where you kind of slow down and really listen to um, what's going on internally and kind of connecting one-on-one uh, -on -one with, you know, your environment and the atmosphere and earth. And, um, you know, there are, again, small groups that you can go on um, to kind of have a guide help you through this and show you what you can experience. And many people experience if they have health issues, some healing properties that come as a result of spending time in these vortex sites. Um, and, and they're all stunning. As you can see, they're all, they all are. unique. They're all, you're, all, you're always surrounded by red rocks wherever you are in Sedona. And, and that's awesome. So, and being around the red rocks, you know, it really does give you that wellness um, opportunity. So Sedona is more than just your spas. Um, obviously there's meditation and there's yoga programs. Um, we talked about, you know, just how Mother Earth will help us heal in those vortexes. Um, and, and of course, there's also that spiritual piece of life. And, and wellness is mind, body, spirit. And so this destination really gives you an opportunity to, to get to all of those different levels and, and get down to that core of, you know, what is, what's inside of us and how we can be better uh, and be well yeah and and the food too you know just going back to the food i mean there's many many organic um healthy um food options and food choices many that are tied into some of those spas in sedona 
um, you know, where, where you can book a spa room and you can have a full spa experience and also enjoy the, the cuisine that's really, you know, de detox detoxifying kind of foods or healthy organic foods. So it can be a, you know, a full complement um, to, your, to your personal well-being. Absolutely. And so, and there's also a lot of medical spas as well that we can talk about um, if you are interested in um, having that conversation, by all means, feel free to let me know and we can have it. Um, but we just want to touch upon a little bit of the, the different wellness experiences that you can have because Sedona really has everything. So we're talking about not only staying in Sedona, but also what you can do on a day's trip. And so there's so many different things that you can, where you can use Sedona as your hub and an experience. We talked about Grand Canyon, um, but there's so many others. Yeah, there really are. Um, it's a great, um, you know, a great, the average stay in Sedona is three and a half to four nights, um, which is great because you can really explore Sedona itself and then just do day trips um, as indicated on this map. Um, you know, the, the furthest point on this map is about four hours away. Um, but certainly, you know, many places that are, are famous and well known in the Arizona area and not and some that are maybe not so well known, such as Jerome and Camp Verde. These are smaller, smaller communities along the Verde River that have amazing um, attractions and a, a, a little bit of a different climate than Sedona. Not much, but because it's along the river, um, it's a different um, different altitude and different, um, slightly different climate, even within a 30 minute drive. And that's awesome. So you don't have to go very far. Um, and you don't have to go very far either to get some wine. So Arizona has yeah. amazing wine country. They do. And and again, speaking of, <clears throat> excuse me, this Verde Valley um, river that comes through this area, um, the same kind of soil and um, texture of the, you know, the clays and the dirt is very similar to what you might find in Southern France. And people never think that there's, you know, wine making in Arizona, but there's some pretty amazing, amazing wines and great, you can kayak to some of these places. You can do, you know, wine day trips and have a driver take you. Um, you know, there are, are also uh, wine tasting rooms within so Sedona proper. Um, so it's really a fun, a fun thing again for couples for for bridal showers or the guys trips and the green um, getaways. You know, whatever it is that you and your traveling partners want to do, Sedona's yeah, got it. We can do it for you. So we talked a little bit earlier about Jerome, and um, one of the things that it is, it's a great ghost town. Um, it is, and so and a lot of people don't know that. And so if you're into ghosts and everything else. What an amazing adventure. They also have um, many really, you know, fine jewelry shops. And again, back to this kind of arts and, and culture experience, um, Jerome's kind of built on this hill and, and really unique views um, from the city. Um, it's, a, it's a funky little town with its own unique personality, but lots of fun and a great, a great place to spend a day. Um, and then right next to that is the Verde Canyon Railroad, which going back to the wine, uh, the wine trails. Um, so this this train runs year round. Um, the entire trip takes about four hours, but they also do themed theme train like, um, you know, they might do, uh, you know, during harvest season, they'll do a special wine theme train or they'll do chocolate theme trains mm. um, during Oktoberfest. They do. Uh, a beer Oktoberfest um, tour, and it's a really relaxing, fun um, four-hour four-hour round trip um, adventure. Yeah, again, fun for all ages. Oh my God, how amazing is that? And fun so, and, and you guys have so many different national monuments um, as well. So, yep. and I think that is super awesome to highlight. Yep. And again, going back to, you know, the outdoors being a classroom, um, you can visit um, Montezuma's Castle, you can visit um, Tuguzigu National Monument. Um, and these are, you know, well-preserved um, Native American, uh, Native Indian um, preserves that you can go and visit. And again, 
for, for kids of all ages. Yeah, great history classes, man. I love that. And so, and here's just an idea, again, a couple hours away of different things that you can do in terms of canyons um, and, and just beautiful mother nature um, enjoyment. So, uh, so, so definitely highly recommend Sedona as a, um, as a home base. And that, you know, again, we just do, you know, these nice day trips um, and, add, and just add to your adventure. So, and here's some others. Um, so we definitely have quite a bit of them. So in 2019, um, you guys created the Sustainable Tourism Plan. And so, yeah. and, and so it's really about, you know, not only making the quality of the economy amazing, but also the resident quality of life and the visitor experience and the environment. So lots of different moving pieces on this. And I love that you guys have a very similar mission um, to book your give here, which is all about social responsible travel. Yep. And we're, we're very serious about that for not only the, the guests, the 4 million guests that come to visit us during the year, but also um, keeping Sedona pristine for our community. Um, again, with only 10,000 residents, um, they're very protective of their beautiful uh, environment and we want to keep it keep it that way for the residents but also want um, those tourists that are coming to visit us to um, capture that same mindset and um, you know embrace the values that we're trying to maintain and and be sustainable for for the long term so that's very important to us and you'll see that all throughout the city when you're there and and that's so awesome and of course, Sedona takes the care pledge. So obviously, you know, there's there's a lot of moving uh, pieces, especially not only with COVID, but also again, the environment. So here's um, the pledge that they're all about taking to making sure that Sedona stays safe. And um, And I like the number three the best. I'll make my own memories, but not my own trails. Yeah. Yeah, and with the 400 trail, 400 miles of trails that we have, um, you know, you're never going to be running into anyone. But we also want you to stay on those trails, and so that we can keep the trails well preserved and you know safe for everyone that is enjoying them. But also being respectful of the environment that you're in, so that you're not again making your own trails. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so with that. Um, you know, here again, here's the Sedona safe, clean and ready. So they are ready and we really are um, going to be heading out and we're going to be starting to, you know, plan your trips. Again, it's an all year destination. So I really want to focus on making sure that you guys know how amazing this destination is and that we really should be planning for you guys to come because I mean, this is just a couple hours away for every, for almost anybody around the country. Um, and, you know, once you get in, a car ride away and, and we're good to go. And so. it's, a, it's a great it's a great dr drive destination. Um, you know, neighboring city, neighboring states. I know you all are in Texas. You know, mm -hmm. we have many guests from California, Texas, Nevada. It's a great de drive destination. Um, I will tell you there is a. Uh, you know, especially now that school's back in season, um, you know, midweek is a great time to find some great value and, and pricing and a little bit fewer fewer crowds during the week than what you're gonna find on the weekends. Of course, so, and, and that's awesome. So with that, um, I wanna say thank you so much, Susan, for taking this um, time out of your day to do this awesome video because Again, love talking about Sedona. Can't wait to do my traveler's journey there so we can film from location. Um, and, but um, do you have any other words before we wrap up? No, just come and visit us. You won't be disappointed and it won't be your only trip. I promise. That I'm sure of. So with that, guys, I'm looking forward to um, having your phone calls and um, any questions that you guys might have. And we'll take it from there. Until then. Thank you so Mama. much. Hey, everybody. Bye-bye.